Achilles pain absolutely sucks. It can be debilitating and it can stop you from running. I'm covered in flies, I don't know why, so I'm gonna move, move a little bit from here. It might be the giant hole that I've got in my, in my back garden. But we're gonna address the three ways or three reasons or three things to address to eliminate Achilles pain from your minimalist running. So without further ado, let's get this rolling. Okay, so the first reason, overstriding. And this can be really easy to do and you don't, you don't realize you're doing it. One thing to, to, that can help with eliminating this is focusing on your cadence. So it's very difficult to keep 180 cadence if you're overstriding, right? So what I mean by overstriding, I talk about this a lot. Obviously, we know that we need to land on our forefoot or our, or, or our midfoot, but we can still do that and overstride. So what we need to do is land under, the, uh, under our center of mass. So our foot, where can we see my foot? So our foot needs to be landing here, basically, under our center of, of mass. Now, if we're landing in front, out here, we're still forefoot or midfoot, but that's putting way more pressure, if you see, on the, on the, on the, back, of my, on the back of my foot. So, what we want to do is eliminate that very simply by shortening our stride. We want to be running with short, choppy strides. And when we lengthen our stride in order to run faster, we still want to make sure that we're landing under the center of mass. Because as soon as we're overstriding and landing, especially if we're landing on our toes and overstriding, that's putting way more pressure on our Achilles tendon. So what we want to do is just land with short, shorter strikes under our center of mass. Simple. Second one, which is true for me, so I've experienced Achilles pain with minimalist running, and the reason that's happened is 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 the shoe type. And if I run too much or haven't built up sufficiently in a pair of vapor gloves, for example, it's something to do with the way, if we can see, with um, with the way the back of the heel where it sits. I don't know why it does this, but it's done this. Any, any Merrill Vapor Glove model that I run in, um, and it's also happened with the Innovate Bearex 150s, uh, if I try and run in these shoes, because of the way the heel sits, and um, the heel of the, the shoe sits on the back of my heel, it causes me great Achilles pain. So I don't know if it digs in slightly, I don't know if it just um, puts unnecessary pressure. It does something, I don't know what, I haven't been able to explain it but it could be the shoe. I've never experienced this in Vibram Five Fingers or Newton MV2 or MV3 or um, New Balance Minimus or any of the other minimal running shoes that I've, that I've run in, but I have experienced it in Merrill Vapor Gloves and I have experienced it quite badly in Innovate uh, Bear X 150s. So have a look at your shoe and try a different shoe model. So if, it's, if you can eliminate the shoe as being the problem, and just try another shoe model and it's happy days. Bish bash bosh, job done. And the third thing to look at, if you're experiencing Achilles, Achilles pain or Achilles problem, is looking at if you've built up too fast, um, and that might be distance or it might be speed. So if you've suddenly started running faster or if you've suddenly started running much longer without building up slowly. And it's a common sense approach, but anything you do to increase too much load over a short period of time is gonna put pressure on various areas of your body. And that could very well be your Achilles tendon, all right? So if you're experiencing Achilles problems and you've built up your speed rapidly over a short period of time or your distance rapidly over a short period of time, then that's something to look into as well. So just bring it back, let your body rest, recover, a little bit of stretching, ice baths, things like that, and, and, and then just address that problem, all right? So it's three things there really. In this video, we've covered overstriding, we've covered your type of footwear, and we've covered that last one, which I've already forgotten. God damn, I'm getting old, aren't I? Uh, but that is it, that's, that's the video for today, guys. Please like it, if you liked it, I really hope you find this helpful because um, 
Achilles pain can be can really suck and it can take a couple of weeks to recover from this. And if you're training for an event, you really can't afford to be um, taking time out from your training for a couple of weeks. So hopefully this video has helped some people out there. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe, all the rest of it. Please click here uh, for my long run do's and don'ts video. Please click here for a magic YouTube suggested video. Please click here to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching all the way to the end. You guys know what to do by now. Keep it rolling.